Can the Bullet Tank Brothers dominate world football? We shall see. Hey, what's up, guys? And yes, welcome back to another Brotherhood video. Welcome back. If you guys are new here, basically what we do in these videos is put two brothers or two siblings or two family members in the same team and write their careers. In this series, these family members play for the same club, for the same national team, anytime one of them moves, the other moves as well. And yes, in today's installment, we do have the Boateng brothers and Jerome Boateng and Kevin Prince Boateng. We'll be rewriting their age to the age of 18, lowering their rating, and following them through nine seasons. We'll be taking into account their goals, their assists, their clean sheets if we have a defender, which we do, as well as their trophies. Not only that, but we'll be taking charge of their national team. In this video, I have chosen Germany because there is no Ghanaian national team in FIFA. And at the end, we're going to see if they dominated world football. That's never gonna happen, ever. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, boys, like I mentioned earlier, we do have the Boateng brothers. We have Kevin Prince Boateng here up top, as well as Jerome Boateng playing at center back position. We'll be starting off the careers I heard the Berlin where they both started off their football. And like I mentioned before, they will both be playing for Germany. I wish I could do Ghana, but they're not in the game. But they won't be in the German squad right away. They have to work their way up. When they're a decent high rating, they can go ahead and play for the national team. And yes, boys, as you can see, they're both at the age of 18. And like I said, we're basically lowering the rating. They're both at a 68, which I think is a pretty decent rating. And we're going to go ahead and follow them through nine seasons, see how much growth they can get, how many goals they can score, how many assists they can score, how many clean sheets, and how many trophies they can win. Make sure to leave your suggestions for the next Brotherhood video you guys would like to see. Okay, boys, in this first season, we have released every striker that is higher rated than Kevin Prince Boateng, so he can play every single game. Same over here at center back. We have one center back in Stark, and then we have Boateng, and we have a backup that's lower rated. So this season might be shit for Hertha Berlin, but it's going to be good for the Boateng brothers as they can play every single minute of football. Kevin Prince Boateng's potential is starting at a 75, while Jerome Boateng's is starting off at an 80 compared to the actual skill level. We know Jerome Boateng has been the more talented brother throughout the years. Before we do send to the end of the first season, we have to give both of them a development plan. So, here, Jerome Boateng, we're going to give him... Um, let's see. Let's give him a sweeper, as it is probably the best development plan for a center back. As for Kevin Prince, we have made him German instead of Ghanaian, and we have to give him poster because we need him to have like 85 finishing before we train anything else. It's time to sim to the end of the first season. Leave your predictions down below. How good do you guys think the Boy Tank Brothers will do in the careers? I think they'll do pretty decent, but I don't think anything amazing. But as you guys know in this channel, my predictions are always wrong. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of the first season for the Boy Tank Brothers. Let's see how they did in their first career of professional football. Okay, boys, that guy said they were going to struggle. Berlin were going to struggle. They barely finished outside the relegation zone. But it's okay. We don't care about the team. We care more about the players. Yeah, B Pokal, though, did they get a chance to make it a little bit far? And it looks like they lost to the round of 16 to Gladbach. Growth-wise, for these brothers, 71 rated is not too bad. A plus 3 for Kevin Prince, while a plus 4 does go for Jerome Boateng. Okay, take a look at the top goal scorer. The Kevin Prince Boateng get a lot of goals and... Boys. Man scored two goals in 28 games. What? How? How do you score two goals in the season? How? Jerome Boateng, on the other hand, did pretty well for four assists, but five clean sheets is horrible as well. Okay, boys. Yes, we live in a world where Jerome Boateng actually outdid his brother in goal contributions, and that's not a good sign. But let's go to season two. Okay, boys, season number two, they remain in the ratings with 72 and 71. But I'm hoping for a better season as Boateng does not, ha does not have 59 finishing anymore. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> I'm going to stick by this club as they give him a chance and I want to return that opportunity. So as you can see in the development plan, his finishing is now at a 68. That's slightly better, but I'm hoping he scores a lot of goals this season and he can superstar that to at least 80. As for Jerome, we're going to keep the same thing as well. We need him to improve his defending. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season two for the Boateng brothers. I'm hoping for a better season. Okay, boys, the fact that we're not in the bottom 11 is actually a huge improvement, boys. So, if we scroll up, where do we finish? And 7th place is really respectable, just missing out on European football. What happened? Did Kevin Prince Pro Tank just pop off or something? But 7th place is not too bad. DFB Pokal, how did it go? And they lost in the quarterfinals this time. Okay, boys, as you can see, Kevin Prince Pro Tank actually cut up to Jerome. So, now they're both at a 76, plus 4 for Jerome. Plus five for Kevin Prince. It's not looking too bad, but I'm just glad that they didn't finish in like the bottom of the league table. Okay, boys, it's time to see if Kevin Prince both time redeemed himself, mainly him, because he's the one playing up top. And 15 goals. Okay, going from two goals to 15 goals is really well playing for a really bad side because they only have two center backs and one striker. So 15 goals and forces is not too bad. As for clean sheets, how did our boy Jerome do? Seven clean sheets is an improvement. Still getting three assists is also amazing. 
to you. Okay, boys, season number three, and let's give him one more season here. Okay, Karen Prince Boy Tank has 85 finishing. You know what? I'll take it, but should we continue to improve his shooting? I, I think we should, just so he can be a better finisher. Jerome Boateng, let's see what we can improve from him. And uh, let's see, let's see. What can we improve? We're going to go ahead and give him stopper to improve his pace and his physical stats as well. Okay, boys, as you can see, they're both at a 76 rating. And I was planning on moving them. But the only move they'd get is somewhere below, lower in the table in the Bundesliga. Or if we would move somewhere else. So, you know what? Might as well just keep them. Like, just keep them here. They're already here. They had a pretty good season. Give them one more season. And if they do go to like an 80 we can go ahead and transfer them to like a europa league or conference league side okay boys we have reached the end of season three and no matter what happens we're gonna transfer them because i don't want to make this video boring and just keep them on one side so let's go ahead and see how the ball tank brothers did this season and yeah boys back to reality finishing in 13th place okay boys how about the dfb pokal can they make an inspired run and yeah that's that's not happening anytime soon they lost I don't even know who they lost to, man. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Okay, they were really close to reaching the goal that I did set out for them, which was 80 rated. 78 for them, 79 for Boateng as well. Okay, Kevin Prince Boateng, how good did you do? And 16 goals is respectable for season with 5 assists as well. It's not too bad. Jerome, how did you do? 6 clean sheets, no assists, and no goals. It's kind of dead with center backs, but that's how we have to do it. Okay, boys, at the moment, it is 2024. Two seasons left, two years left for a world cup year so maybe they can go ahead and try maybe around the 85 rating they can go ahead and use the national team i don't want to i want to make it realistic and make them high rated first so if they can reach the 85 rating before the world cup then they can go ahead and achieve in it okay boys just a little reminder 78 for a 21 year old boateng and a 79 for a 21 year old jerome boateng so this is where the video starts to get interesting okay it would have been interesting if they were at a smaller club, but since they were at a big club with low ratings, they did pretty bad at first. But Kevin Prince Boateng is now an exciting prospect, and Jerome Boateng is going to be showing great potential. So right now, Kevin Prince Boateng has more potential. Both been transfer listed, so whichever is the best offer, we'll go ahead and sell that one player, and then we'll go to that team and bring in the other brother. Okay, we've got an offer, two offers for Kevin Prince Boateng, and both of them are really interesting. And you know what? We rarely go to the city, yeah. We've gone to La Liga before, so I'm gonna accept as much as I don't like it as they're not in the game. I'm gonna go accept this Atalanta offer. As you can see in season number four, we have joined Atalanta, and this squad is decent. I was persuaded by the project Atalanta usually have, so I took a risk. And you know what? They are gonna play because Cabral is the highest rated striker, and Bos he is the second highest rated striker here, Boateng. And we have a three center back partnership, and Boateng is the third highest. Uh, rated center back so we should be fine this season so boys we might have champions league football or europa league football or conference league football which is good so let's see exciting prospect kevin prince boateng development plan what should we give him should we work on his finishing again you know what screw it let's work on his finishing again so we can get a bunch of goals in this champions league side as for our boy jerome still has showing great potential hopefully he can raise that this season what should we go for it i think we should still work on his Oh, no, let's, let's ball playing defender. He needs to work on his passing and his dribbling. We don't want him losing the ball in the box. Okay, boys. I think the careers are going to turn around. It was a pretty miserable three years at Hertha Berlin. Only being three center backs in the squad in order for them to play. And one striker. So, now with a lot of backup and a lot of players around them. Let's see if they can do well in the fourth season of professional football. Not only that, but be ready by 2026 for the World Cup. Okay, boys. We have reached the end of season four. In the first season in the Serie A with Atalanta. I saw that they had Europa League football, so no Champions League football. Let's see how they did. Okay, no relegation. I mean, there's no relegation in the city. As we scroll up, let's see how they did. And sixth place is actually not too bad, missing out on the top five. Once again, most likely, so once again, most likely, they'll have Europa League football. But Coppa Italia, maybe they can win that. And no, they lost. When did they lose? They lost in the round of 16 to Lazio. Um, UFO Europa League, let's see how they did. Hey boys, the Bullet Tank Brothers were in Group D. How did they do? And 14 points, 4 wins and 2 draws, not too bad. Round of 16, how did they do? They lost to Leverkusen. Oh my god, we actually got an offer from Leverkusen, but I didn't accept it. But maybe I'm regretting that now. Four seasons in and still no trophies for the Bullet Tank Brothers. But you know what? 81 is not too bad for both of them. They're actually at the same rating at this point at 22 years old. To be honest, this Brotherhood video has not been anything too special. They've been having a pretty decent career so far. Okay, boys, what you guys look forward to? Kevin Prince Boateng stats because Jerome Boateng is a center back and his stats are pretty boring. Kevin Prince Boateng, 17 goals. That's his best ever season yet. Four assists as well. As for Jerome Boateng, how many clean sheets? Five clean sheets, but he's got an assist and his first goals in his career. Boys, it was a pretty decent season for this Atalanta side and the Boateng brothers. Let's go ahead and go to season five. And I think I'm going to keep them here. They're on the race for the world cup if they can somehow make it 
to 85 by the end of the season before the World Cup squad is announced. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the team. Okay, boys, season number five. Both of them still at an 81. I'm really excited for this season. I'm really hoping they do reach that 85 so I can take them to the World Cup. Okay, taking a look at development plans. Cameron Prince Boateng has a special something. That means he has a decent potential at the age of 22. So his finishing is pretty high at this point. What should we work on? Let's. I guess let's work on his acceleration. It's actually really bad. As for our boy Jerome, let's see what we can give him because his defensive stats are looking pretty decent. His physical stats are pretty decent as well. Let's make him defensive center back. Give him more defending, his strength as well, as well as his acceleration. Okay, boys, right now the Boateng brothers are playing not not only for Atalanta but they're playing against time as they're trying to reach um, they're trying to reach 85 before May I guess because May is when they submit the squad so we're gonna go ahead and see go to May see how they are and I'll go ahead and to decide if they're going to the World Cup and you guys will see if they end up going boys we have reached the end of the season and as you can see the World Cup is right there but the question is are they going well let's find out right now okay boys like I said it's the end of season five let's see if they finish top four if they finish top four that would be absolutely amazing for them they can be playing Champions League football next season and they have they did win the league title though. No, they finished in fourth place. Not too bad. Finishing three points off in dead for third place. Coppa Italia. Can they make a surprise here? And no, they ended up losing to Torino in the round of 16. Football once again for this Atalanta side. Group A. They finished in second place. So they're in the preliminary round. Did they win? And no, they lost to Benfica 4-2. Still, still no trophies to their name. But as you can see, look. Kevin Prince Boateng is at 85. And Jerome Boateng is at an 84. So you know what? I give them the benefit of the doubt and they're going to be in this Germany side. So I'll fix the formation a little bit later. But yeah, we do have both Boateng brothers here. We have Jerome Boateng and where is Kevin Prince? Kevin Prince Boateng is right here. But as for the stats this season, both of them grew a lot. Kevin Prince Boateng grew by four. So I'm hoping for a huge season by him. And 22 goals is his best season yet. Five assists as well. Clean sheets. How did Jerome do? Eight clean sheets and one assist. Okay, boys, this is the squad we're rocking with at the World Cup. Kevin Prince Boateng playing up top with Havertz, Sané, and Verts right behind him. Kimmich and Goretzka in the holding positions. Gusens, Rudiger, and Sule. And we have decided to put Jerome Boateng at right back. And obviously, Ter Stegen in goal. Okay, boys, after a hard fought season, doing really well, both of them, they're finally going to make their national team debuts and only on the biggest stage of them all. Their first game being against New Zealand, surely it's going to be a victory. Kevin Prince Boateng, how will you do up top by yourself? And it's going to be a 2-2 draw. Prince Boateng picking up one goal. That's very disappointing. Okay, boys, they're playing against Romania now who are in first place. They have a pretty easy group, but if they don't get out of this, I'm going to be very disappointed. In these Brotherhood videos, we tend, well, they tend to do really bad in the international competition. So let's see if they can do better. And it is going to be a... 3-0 victory, Havertz, Musiala, and Prince Boateng with another goal. Okay, boys, starting off season 6, they have retained their ratings. Kevin Prince at an 85 and Jerome at an 84. But not, nothing about the future has been decided yet. We're going to decide after the World Cup. So they have their third group stage game. Who are they going to go and play against? I have to do this training session. I'm sorry. I believe it is Austria who are in last place. So a win, they should definitely win this game. If they're in last place, Austria have picked up one point. Come on. Quick sim. And it's going to be a 1 over 3. Kevin Prince Boateng being the decider. He's having an amazing World Cup. Okay, boys. They now have around a 16 tie. They have, n think about this. They have now won a single trophy in their career. Imagine their first trophy is the World Cup. It's going to be very hard to beat Italy if we eventually run up to them. But let's see if we can get past Czech Republic, who are a very talented side at this point in time. Quick sim, please get a victory. And it is going to be a 3-1 loss. I told you. Kevin Prince Boateng scoring another goal, though. Had an amazing World Cup. Okay, boys. So they did reach the round of 16 of the World Cup. And considering the German side isn't what it used to be, Kevin Prince Boateng had an outstanding World Cup. So I think we should transfer list him. I was actually going to keep him here. But since he had such a good World Cup, I think some offers would come in in real life. So... Let's see what offers do come in. We do have Champions League football, but if we get a team better than Atalanta, we'll probably go ahead and transfer. Okay, boys, we got a couple of interesting offers like from Real Madrid and Man City, but I don't think these boys are ready. They're not going to be able to play in those teams. So an offer for Leipzig did come in and I actually did accept it. Look, we might only go to Leipzig for one season just so they can grow. Maybe play some Champions League football if Leipzig do have it. Maybe try to win a league title there, but if it doesn't happen, it's fine. I'm planning to move them as soon as they reach 88, but at Man City, they were not going to play in at Real Madrid either. Successfully joined RB Leipzig and it's another decent side. So like I said, we might be here for one season or two. It is season six. We're going to push for that one Champions League and hopefully for the, either the Euros or the World Cup. As you can see, they're not the players to win many trophies, but I do want to win a important trophy in this video. 84 for Jerome Boateng and 85 for Kevin Prince. Okay, boys, starting off with Kevin Prince Boateng. Let's see what development plan we're going to give him. 
Should we just upgrade his finishing all the way so he can just score tons of goals? Yeah, let's do that. For Jerome Boateng, let's see what we're going to give him. And we should probably just work on his defending. So let's give him stopper. One, no, it's going to be sweeper once again. Okay, yes, boys. Like I said, they have yet to win a single trophy in their careers. But that does not matter to me. My goal in this video is probably to get an international trophy. The goal is to always win the Champions League at least once. But if we can win an international trophy, that just completely make the video amazing. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season six. No international tournaments in this season, but let's see if they can win their first trophy. I'm really hoping maybe like uh, the, the DFB Pokal, maybe even the league title would be amazing. I doubt they would win the Champions League, but let's see what happens. Okay, boys, I know for sure they're going to be in the top five with the squad they do have, but Dortmund fell out of the top four, which is weird. So fourth place? No. Did we finish in second place? Oh, we finished in third, missing out on second to Mainz by three points. That's not too bad of a season. DFB Pokal, please tell me we won it. We have won our first ever trophy. The DFB Pokal is our first ever trophy. How about the Super Cup? I saw that they were in it. Bayern Munich did win it. But Champions League, let's see if they were in it. Okay, boys, they were in the Champions League in Group C. Did they go ahead and pass? And yes, they won with four wins and two draws. Round of 16. Pretty sure this is where they met their match. And no, they beat IX in penalties quarterfinals. They lost to Real Madrid, of course. The boys must be over the moon with the first ever trophy. And as you can see, Kevin Prince at an 88 and Jerome at an 86. It's going really well so far. Okay, boys, Kevin Prince, can he go on his best ever season? And no, I think his best ever season is 22, but it's still a pretty good season. Remember in his first season when he got two goals and I gave him so much shit? Well, now it's 21 goals and six assists, not too bad. As for our boy Jerome, where did he go? Five clean sheets and one assist. So kind of disappointing in the clean sheets. Okay, boy, season number seven, and I think it's time for a super club. Like, okay, Jerome may not be fit for it, but Kevin Prince definitely is. So it's time to transfer list them. It's time for them to win some trophies, more preferably the Champions League. So let's go ahead and see what offers we do get. Okay, boys, I did get an interesting offer from Atletico, but as you can see, Inter Milan have paid Kevin Prince Boateng release clause. So let's just go to Inter, man. Let's not cause any trouble. Atletico would probably have been a best bet. But we have yet to go to Inter in one of these videos. So let's go ahead and go to Milan. Okay, boys, the Boateng brothers have officially joined Inter Milan in Season 7. And it's a pretty decent side. Maybe can win the Champions League. Okay, let's see. 88 rated for Kevin Prince. Let's see what we can upgrade for him in the development plan. So at this point, his finishing is at his highest. We need to upgrade whatever is his lowest. So let's go ahead and go for mobile striker. So his long shots, acceleration, short pass, ball control, and dribbling. As for our boy Jerome, let's see what we can upgrade for him as well. Also, we're going to go for probably ball playing defender. His passing stats are really bad right now. Okay, boys, at the end of the season, we do have the Euros. So they have one trophy to their name, which is the DFB Pokal. Let's see if they can win the Serie A. But let's see if they can win the, the first international trophy in a brotherhood video. We have yet to win an international trophy in a brotherhood video. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, boys, season seven has come to an end. Let's see if the Boateng brothers won anything. Okay, boys, assuming they're in the top four with the squad they do have, please tell me they won the league title. As we scroll up, they finished in third, missing now on the title by a whole as nine points, boys. Okay, Super Copa, though. Were they in it and did they win it? They lost in the final, boys. Oh, no. Copa Italia, please. This has to be the one. No, Lazio have won it. They did end up losing in the round of 16 to Spezia. As for the Champions League, let's see where they finished. Okay, boys, they were in Group B. Let's see where they pass. If they pass and they finish in second with former team RB Leipzig finishing in first, round of 16. They did win. They beat Real Madrid. That's a very good sign. What about quarterfinals? They beat Juventus. Semifinals? They lost to Barca on penalties, man. In the final, it's Tottenham versus Barca, and Tottenham end up winning it. Okay, boys, no trophy once again for these players. I don't know why Boateng has zero sharpness. Probably just came back from an injury, but has reached a 90 rating. And Jerome Boateng is right behind at an 89. This team is looking good. Hopefully, they can win the Champions League next season. Okay, boys, let's take a look at their stats. Goals, Kevin Prince Boateng, how many did you deliver? 27 goals is his best ever season. That's a dub for us. How about Jerome Boateng? Come on, some record clean sheets? No. Four, six clean sheets, man. It's so hard to get clean sheets in this game for some reason. I never get plus 10 with any player, but six clean sheets, one goal and one assist. Okay, boys, after a pretty decent season, heartbreak losing like a final and then getting in third place and then losing in the semis. They are now in the Euros and this set is looking a lot better from the first World Cup. We have a 92 ready goalkeeper, Florian Muller. Came out of nowhere, man. But Kevin Prince, Jerome Boateng, 89, next to Sule. The center back position is in the strongest. Kimmich in the right back, Nets in the left back. We have Kai Havertz, we have Goretzka, Florian Verts, Musiala, Boateng, and Leroy Sainé. Hey, come on, boys. We have yet to win a single international tournament in any of my videos. Let's see. Can this be the first one? First game against Norway in the Euros, and it is going to be a 2-1 victory. Kevin Prince, Boateng, getting two goals. Hopefully, he has another breakout tournament. 
Okay, next game against Scotland surely has to be another victory. Come on, quick sim. We're not even going to worry about it. And it is going to be a 2-1 victory. Sané and Havertz getting amongst the goals. Okay, boys, come on. De Germany is going all out. If we win this game, we have a huge chance of winning the Euros as there's no round of 16. And the Netherlands are a pretty strong team. So, a quick sim. Come on, Germany. Come on, Kevin Prince. And it is going to be a 1-0 victory. Nets getting the goal. We have won. We have won the group with all three wins. <laughs> Okay, boys, season number eight does start off in the Euros. But, boys, we're probably not going to move anymore. We're going to keep up my Inter Milan, see what they can win with them. But, boys, we do really want to focus on an international tournament. We have the Euros, and then we have one World Cup left. I really want to win an international trophy with the Boateng brothers, as Boateng did have a pretty good international career, Jerome, in that way. But we're playing against Belgium. A really decent Belgium side. Please, Germany, don't lose in the quarterfinals. And it is going to be a 3-0 victory. Kevin Prince Boyton getting two more goals. Okay, boys, in the semis, we have Finland. This has to be an easy sweep. Who do they have that they're in the semis? I do not recognize a single player other than Po Hanalpo, okay? I don't know why they're in the semis, but they're having an underdog run. But please, come on, Germany, pick up this victory. And it is going to be a 4-0 victory. Kimmich. Prince Boateng, Havertz, and Prince again. Two goals from Prince Boateng again. Boys, Kevin Prince Boateng did horrible in his first season, scoring two goals. And now, not only does he shine for club, he also shines for country. Boys, we're actually at a final at an international tournament. Can this be the first time? Can the Boateng brothers finally deliver an international trophy in this video? Come on. Quick sim. Oh, boys, they have Mbappe. Mbappe is going to cause so much trouble. Please. Come on, boys. Please. Vert is injured. And it's going to be a... 3-2, lost points. Prince Boateng does get a goal, but Mbappe is too strong to, to hold down. 3-2, lost. Come on, man. Boys, they're so close, but yet so far, we still have the World Cup. We have to win the World Cup. Come on. Okay, boys, like I said, season number eight, there's nothing to do but put development plans on these boys because I want to stay with the side, see what we can win. Okay, boys, at this point, what can these guys improve? We have one of the world's best in Kevin Prince Boateng. Let's just see what gets the most green arrows, okay? So let's go ahead and just go for a target man, just for his physical and his shooting. As for Jerome, we want to get him to that 90 rating. Okay, what should we give him? What can we give him here that he's going to grow a lot? Let's go for stopper. His physicality still needs to grow. Okay, boys, no international tournament for this season or the next season. It will be at the start of the season. We're never supposed to play, but we're just going to go ahead and do the World Cup. So let's go ahead and sim to the end of the season and hopefully get another trophy because there's still at one trophy. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of season number eight. Let's go ahead and see what the Boatengs brothers did. Okay, it's, it's going to be another top four finish. There's no way. They're too good to finish outside of top four. Fourth place, please don't tell me they finished third again. Uh, they finished third place by goal difference, but missed out on the league title by six points. Copa Italia, come on, come on. We have to win another trophy. Sassuolo? Come on, Champions League, surely. Boys, they're in Group G. Okay, they finished in first place. Round of 16. Did they go ahead and pass? They lost to Bayern Munich. Who won it? Leipzig won it. We should have stayed at Leipzig. We would have been winning the Champions League right now. Okay, boys, taking a look at the Boateng brothers. We do have Kevin Prince at a 93. And Jerome has finally reached that 90. They're one of the best in the world. Kevin Prince Boateng has finally achieved an amazing superstar season. 38 goals and 8 assists for him. Clean sheets. Come on. More than 10 is Jerome. More than 10. Ah, Jerome got 6 clean sheets again. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of the video the last season well we have the last season and then the world cup at the end so we're probably gonna have to go to the other season just to see if, if we even make it to the final of the world cup or any farther because we every time we reach the last world cup we do absolutely horrible but yeah jerome at a 90 and kevin prince at a 93 let's see what they have in store for us okay is there even a point checking the development plan let's just see if they can grow come on he's already at 93 can he grow absolutely anything and it looks like he can't how about jerome i believe jerome can grow at least a little bit has to have more than 90 potential and same thing we're gonna keep it at that maybe the potential will go out throughout the season but boys it is a world cup year but not only that we're trying to win another trophy one trophy to their name and it is the dfb pokal come on they have to win something okay boys it's time it's a world cup year but first of all we need to see what they did in their last season for their clubs okay boys as usual they always finish the top four so last year's winners finished in fifth so that means they could have finally won the league title fourth place no they have finished third place in the last two seasons and Bologna. Did they win the league title? Yes, they have, boys. They have won it by five points. That's their second trophy of their career after nine seasons. Coppa Italia, a domestic double. Boys, it's a domestic double. No way they're going to win a treble, man. Hey, boys, they're in the group of the Champions League. Please tell me they won a treble. Okay, 16 points. Run a 16. And they lost to Atletico. No treble, but they have at least gotten two more trophies. Okay, boys. Kevin Prince Boateng remained at a 93. But I told you, Jerome Boateng did go up a plus one to a 91. Okay, boys. Kevin Prince Boateng got 38 goals that season. 
Can he beat that? And no, 25 goals. It's all right. 11 assists is probably his most ever assist season. Clean sheets wise, Jerome, six again, bro. Two assists, but six clean sheets again. Okay, boys, take a look at this Germany side, and it's not looking too well, okay? I mean, there's a lot of players from the Euros, but Goretzka is not in the squad anymore, and neither is Kimmich, so Kotschap is playing that right back, but hopefully they do well. Maybe they will go far. We'll see. Come on, boys. Cameron Bridge Boateng, you are the international tournament player. First game against Hungary, it's surely going to be an easy victory. It has to be like a 4-0, 5-0 victory. And it is going to be a 2-1 victory. Boateng and Prince Boateng both getting on the score sheet. Okay, boys, now playing against Canada. A win will send them automatically to the World Cup knockout stages. I'm pretty sure about that. And it is going to be a 2-0 victory. Kevin Prince Boateng getting two more goals. Okay, boys, the Boateng brothers have officially qualified for the knockout stages. But will they finish in first or in second? They're playing against Spain. Quick sim. And it is going to be a... 2-1 victory, Prince Boateng getting another goal, man. This man is having another great international tournament. Okay, boys, round of 16 against Ireland. It should be a routine victory. Come on, there's no way. Yeah, that's a training session. I'm sorry about that. But there's no way they're going to lose this game and get knocked out. I swear if they do. I, I, I mean, to be honest, I expect it. We've been doing pretty bad international tournaments in this Brotherhood videos. And it is going to be a 2-1 victory. Musiala getting a double. Okay, boys, quarterfinals against Sweden. It has to be another dub, okay? We're getting lucky with these draws against these weak teams. Isak and Kulusevski are the best players there. But everybody else doesn't look like they have a lot of potential. So, quick sim. Come on, another victory. And it is going to be a... 1-0 victory, Lehman scoring in the 120th minute in extra time. That's a Youth Academy player, by the way, not Jens Lehman. Boys, guess who's back to play against us? It is France. And guess who's back? Kylian Mbappe. Oh my god, boys, come on. If we win this, surely we win the World Cup. Surely if we beat France, we can win the World Cup. Quick sim, please be a victory. And it is going to be a 1-0 victory. Musiala, Musiala, oh my god. We're in the final of the World Cup. No, we have to win it at this point. We have to win it. Boys. We're in the World Cup final against Portugal. Surely this has to be an easy game. Rafael Leao is a top goal scorer for Portugal. They probably only have Ronaldo's region and Rafael Leao. Let's sim this training session, but please, boys, let's win this World Cup. The Boy Tank Brothers had pretty decent careers. They didn't win anything special. They won a league title and two domestic cup competitions. Please. I, I, like I said, I was aiming for an international tournament. Please, let's deliver on that. Hey, okay, it's a sim versus Portugal. Please don't let us down. It's a quick sim. And please. And boys, we've done it. Ariemi gets two goals. No, he gets a hat trick. Boys, we've actually won the World Cup. Our first ever international tournament in a video. I cannot believe this has happened right now. Boys, they have done it. They may have only won four trophies in their career, but they have the one they have won the most important trophy of them all. Okay, boys, that is the end of today's video. Let's go ahead and read the final stats. So obviously, both boy tank brothers started at Berlin. And to be honest, I kind of forgot the route they took, so I'm sorry about that. But they were, they started both at a 68. Now one of them, Kevin Prince Boateng, is at a 93, while Jerome is at a 91. And Jerome Boateng did have six goals, 13 assists, and 54 clean sheets, while Kevin Prince had 187 goals and 45 assists. Both won together four trophies, scored a total of 193 goals, barely missing out on 200 goals, 58 assists, and 54 clean sheets in total. But that is the end of today's video. Make sure to leave your suggestions down below for the next Brotherhood video you guys want to see. Make sure to always do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, friend. It's been your boy Edgar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day and chamos.